All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from the number one website for all things Android, AndroidAuthority.com. Now, today we've got a screen protector roundup for the Samsung Galaxy S3. We've got our white model and our pebble blue model here just to show you what the screen protectors look like on each. We've got a plethora of screen protectors, and we're going to be checking all of them out. So without further ado, let's just see what we've got. First off, we have some no-name screen protectors here. We've got a front and back. Uh, we will include the links to all of these screen protectors in the description. Next, we've got our new clear crystal screen film, as well as our Fosman screen shield. We've got our Spigen Flex HD uh, non-yellowing thermoplastic urethane film. This one's going to be uh, more of a pliable application. We've got our Ringbow Ultimate Clear Plus uh, extra strength screen protector. We've got our V-Post screen guard for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Here we've got a no-name screen protector. And then finally we've got our Armor Suit Protection for Life Military Shield for the Samsung Galaxy S3. We'll go ahead and take out this um, harder plastic one here. Now this is one of the tougher plastic ones. It's going to fit over your uh, Galaxy S3 and kind of be just the perfect fit. You know, you've you got to get it on perfect. But anyways, we'll just make sure that our device is free of debris and dust. And then we will begin installation. Looks like right here we've got our front, so we're going to be peeling this off. And then we just want to line up the uh, little cutouts for everything. And once that is done, we can work out our air bubbles with a squeegee. Credit card works too, and even your fingers if you're in a pinch. No pun intended. Anyways, this looks nice. It has a bit of reflection, but it still feels very, very nice. Of course, we get our perfect uh, touch response. Nothing's really going to hinder that as far as screen protectors. We've got our cutouts on top here for our uh, microphone. Now, the screen protector does not go over the front-facing camera there, which is a nice feature. And then we have our access to the physical home button. Capacitive buttons are still uh, easy to press through the screen protector. And there you have it, folks. Let's try out our next one. Our next one's going to be this uh, screen protector for Sam Galaxy S3. Anyways, we'll put this on. It says, please peel off this mask after application is completed. Use our little cleaning cloth. Make sure the screen's free of debris. And we'll set that according to the physical home button. Let this drop down. Now I'll bring both of these side to side. These are both our no names, as you can see. And we'll whip out our knife, do some scratch tests. As you can see, we can actually remove uh, the screen protector itself. The screen protector peels up. It seems like this one is a little less resilient. Okay. So we'll scratch both these. Okay, so we scratch both of these. We'll take them off and see what happened to the screen. Now I'm doubting anything at all happened bad to the screen. Screen is still perfect. Of course, we just have scratches on our screen protector there. Let's try this one. We're perfect there as well. Just as planned. Anyways, we'll continue installing our screen protectors. Okay, so here's our V-Post screen guard. It came with a nice little thing called Your Style, Your Pose. We got another electronics cleaning cloth. We'll wipe these down because we're going to be getting a lot of plastic shards around here from our scratch tests. This one applies just like the others. It's one of the harder plastic uh, screen protectors. Once again, not my favorite type of screen protectors. Anyways, this is the number two. So I'm assuming this is the number one we peel off. I'm going to install it here. Now, of course, it's going to look a little bit more dull. That's just the nature of the anti-glare screen protector. But it does really help with the glare. I'll try and get some of the light directly right there. And uh, opposed to just the regular screen, as you can see here, the screen will reflect the light almost drastically, and the anti-glare is not as bad. So anyways, we'll set these down, open up our Fosman screen protector, slap that on our Pebble Blue Galaxy S3. Slap it on the Pebble Blue. Peel up the secondary skin there. Push the bubbles out. Now this one is not uh, glare resistant. This is just the shiny screen protector, the regular old plastic. Now, I'm not really going to wipe all the air bubbles out, of course. This one's basically just like the other ones. 
we do have our anti-glare on the left and then the regular one on the right. You can see the anti-glare is doing a better job of protecting us from uh, glare, obviously. So anyways, let's whip out our trusty knife, see which one stands the test. This time we'll just make a cut. So you can see it put a nice huge scratch in the screen protector. We got our cut right there. And then we'll try it on our anti-glare screen protector. Another big cut. So you can see we can compare the cuts on there. And we'll remove our anti-glare screen protector to see our screen is 100% fine. Perfect. No scratches at all. And we will remove our uh, regular Fosman screen protector now. Also to reveal no scratches whatsoever in the uh, screen of the Galaxy S3. Now anyways, let's get right into a few more. Next we're going to try out our nuclear. Now a lot of these are kind of just the exact same. Sorry if it's getting a little monotonous, guys. As we get into the more expensive screen protectors, they're going to be a lot better uh, quality. And, you know, they'll have a lot more protection. Anyways, another electronics cleaning cloth. Another small squeegee. This one comes in a pack of two, the Nuclears. This one feels nice. Again, it's hard plastic. It looks like it could be anti-glare. We'll find out. After application is completed, we'll pull off the front here. I'm going to pop this one on our uh, Pebble Blue version of the Galaxy S3. Work out some of the air bubbles. Again, exactly like the rest of them. Exactly like the rest. I'm going to leave the air bubbles in because I just frankly don't care. We're going to be cutting these things. Next, we'll pop on our Ringbow Ultimate Clear Plus. We're going to be putting that one on our uh, white Galaxy S3. And we'll set her there on our white Galaxy S3. There's some sticky stuff in the packaging that's getting on my fingers. We'll work some of the bubbles out before we peel the second mask off here, and we'll peel it now. We'll work out the bubbles. Now this one has a feel, uh, you know, it's a little bit stronger, but I can scratch it with my fingernails, you can see, just like that. Anyways, we got air bubbles in each. We don't care. We're cutting these things up. Let's make an X. Actually, we'll cut an AA into these. Android Authority style. Got two AAs. Looks like our screen protector actually lifted up in this area. Let's see if it did any damage to the Galaxy S3. None whatsoever. Anything that the uh, screen protector does not stop, the Gorilla Glass will. But I would still always suggest to put a screen protector on there. But as you can see, we've got clean cuts to the screen protector. Let's check this one out, our AA. Man, that's hardcore. These Galaxy S3s are earning their battle scars. This one's perfectly fine as well. Hooray. Um, a lot of these are just doing great jobs protecting the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm really glad. Uh, not all of them might be very different from each other, but they're all doing a wonderful job protecting the device. Next, we're going to get into our bigger ones. This one's going to be the Spigen Flex HD full coverage. Here it is on our black mat. Got some instructions. Another cleaning cloth. And then some uh, Spigen little tags. So our back and front. So we've got two of them. So we might save one for later. Now anyways, how you would go about installing these is what you want to do is make sure the screen is 100% clear of any uh, residue or anything like that. Then you're going to grab your application solution. And you're going to grab your uh, little screen protector just like this. You'll peel the screen protector off. Now, these are a lot more pliable than the other ones. As you can see, these are just almost like a floppy plastic. But they do protect better. We'll peel off to make sure. Now you never want to spray any of this directly on your device. And it's also usually suggested you power down your device when you do this. And uh, usually you'd want to wait like maybe a night also, you can get these, uh, get your fingers wet with the application solution just so it doesn't stick to the screen protector. Now that we're wet with the solution, we're going to set it on our Samsung Galaxy S3. Make sure it lines up perfectly there. 
going to go ahead and use this squeegee right here and we'll slightly begin to work out the solution there. You're going to want to keep a cloth very handy because as you work the solution out it'll come out the edges. So you just want to make sure there's a cloth there to catch the extra um, liquid so it doesn't ruin your Galaxy S3 but it's pretty safe to install these and you're just going to want to work the air bubbles out on this. Okay, so we've got our Spigen uh, Flexible HD cover installed on there. So you can see there are some veins and stuff running through there, but uh, it's usually recommended to let this sit for a night. We're knifing it. Anyways, we're going to install our armor suit on the Pebble Blue Galaxy S3 and then take our knife to these two bad boys. Once we unbox this, uh, actually we can read what's on the back. Since the nation's leading manufacturer and distributor of the Military Shield products, the most popular latest electronic cell phones, blah, 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 blah. Let's just slap it on there. We know how. Anyways, we'll open this up. More application solution. We're going to use the armor suit specific. And uh, the squeegee is just about basically the exact same thing as the invisible shield one is. I'm imagining our product's going to be in here. Once again, another clean cloth. And we've got our product. Now this is going to be a full coverage front and back of the device, which is really nice. Mind you, when you install uh, screen protectors like this, they sometimes add enough thickness to debilitate. Now mind you, when you install screen protectors like this, sometimes they add enough thickness to actually make it so you cannot install cases on your phone, which is a shame, but uh, you basically just have to choose your protection. So there we go, we can slap the phone on the back. Make sure there's nothing on the back of this. And we'll go ahead and set our uh, backing on there now. Just want to make sure everything's lined up. If it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure everything's nice. Especially around your cutouts there. You can kind of float the skin on the uh, device just like this with its uh, solution under there. Now once we have it set firmly around our cutouts, we can just use the squeegee and kind of work out how we're going to lay it on our device. Okay, so it's installed on our backing. Uh, not the greatest insulation job. I've got a little extra liquid under there, but we'll go ahead and just test the scratchability of this. Simply by running a knife along there, we can see uh, it does create a small scratch. This is a lot more resistant to side-to-side -side swipes than the hard plastic ones were. If we cut kind of hard and even cut the protector off and then we peel it off, you can see that our backing is just fine there. So we wipe this off with a little uh, cleaning cloth there. See, we got two very, very small scratches in there. But that's just about it. Very nice. Go ahead and scratch the front of our uh, Spigen HD now. We're not going to scratch that hard this time. Just small side to side because it does look like these are a little more uh, or less resistant to cutting as we can see from the back of that but we will give a small small cut like that and then we'll take it off this is how you don't install you just grab the corner and you can peel up it's installed pretty well on there as you can see nothing at all as far as scratches on the screen very awesome. Anyways, guys, that was our screen protector video. If you liked the video, comment. Tell us what you want to see next. Go ahead and pick up some of these screen protectors. Uh, my top suggestions would be the Armor Suit or the Spigen HD. But all of them were great. And uh, a lot of the less, less expensive ones work just fine. And they actually uh, work just as well as the Spigen. And such as you could see, they uh, were pretty susceptible to knife scratches and whatnot. But go ahead and check one out for yourself, guys, and stay subscribed to Android Authority's YouTube. Later.